So right now I am at the Holy Trinity Cathedral. Uh, this is the one. And here is my guide. So tell me the history about the church. Yeah. Like it's uh, basically the church which was made for those people who fought against the Italians. Yes. Yes. Okay. What, what you see here, all the cemetery, yeah. belongs to the patriots who lost their lives during the occupation. Okay. Okay. Uh, most of uh, the patriots yeah. have already buried underneath of the church. Underneath, okay. Yes, you okay. know, uh, during the period of, uh, in the occupation, yeah. Emperor Harrison Lassie fled in exile okay. in England. Oh. He resided in Baz. In, 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 in Baz. Oh, is it? Yes. Okay, okay. So, on a, on a few occasions, yeah. he went to Geneva, Geneva. to speak okay. what was happening, in the happening here in the country okay. to the League of Nations. Okay, okay. So Ethiopia uh, ah. was among the few countries yeah. you know, to be a member of uh, the League of Nations. Yes, yes. So he speak and explain what was happening here. Okay. And finally, uh, he came back. Okay. He came back How home. He completed the church <laughs> and put all the remains underneath okay. of the church. Underneath? Okay. Yes. So it was disrupted by the occupation. Okay. The church completely disrupted by the fascist. Okay. And then he restored everything and he, he dedicated to the patriots okay. of the church. Okay. Um, you know, in 1974, uh -huh. Emperor Harris Lassie himself was in prison oh. and later was killed oh. by the Ethiopian communists who have had some contact with the Soviet Union. Okay. So the communists took over the power in 1974 and they, oh. and, and they, and they um, you know, governed the people of Ethiopia from 74 yeah. up to 1991. 1974 to 1991? Up to 1991, oh, yes. Okay. So they, they vanished his body you know, in his own palace just right there. Okay. There is a palace there. Yes, behind the church, there is a palace of Mineral II. Okay. They put his body somewhere else, which is not as much clear for us. Yeah. But recently, some 29 years ago, mm -hmm. the current government, okay. I think they took DNA from the grandson and mm -hmm. they, they said, we found the remains of Emperor Harrison okay, okay. So they exhumed to the palace to here. Okay, okay, okay. So his body is in here, he, he buried, he rebuilt, oh. buried again okay. here. Uh, together with his wife. Okay. So we could call the church sometimes as a mausoleum church. Yeah. Actually, it is an active church. Yeah, it's an active church. Right? Yes, we okay. do have a mass every day. Yeah. We had a mass this, mo this morning. People can come here, you know, part participating in the mass, yeah. having Holy Communion, yeah. doing confession, okay. getting bap baptism, okay. everything. Okay. So uh, we can go inside the church. Behind the curtains, which is the Holy of Holy, the sanctuary. Okay. You know, we celebrate the Mass in that part of the church. Mm -hmm. so, you know, okay. we, we believed that we, that we kept for the last thousand years yeah. the true Ark of the Covenant, okay. which is in the north, in Aksum. Mm -hmm. But every single church has a replica of Ark of the Covenant, which is very important to celebrate the Mass. Uh -huh. Without the replica Ark of the Covenant, we couldn't celebrate the Mass. Uh -huh. Impossible. Okay. Yes. So it's made up from 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 special wood. Mm -hmm. uh, it has ten commandments okay. and the hidden name of God okay. on it. So they will put on the tabernacle and they will celebrate the mass. Okay. The throne of Emperor Haile Selassie. Okay. He would sit during the mass in here, okay. and the empress would sit over there. Oh. So they could ever follow the mass. Okay. And the throne by itself is made up from mahogany tree and from ivory. Ivory, oh. Yes. Yeah. And we have paintings on the walls of the church. Yeah, I saw that. Yes. yes. You know, the paintings uh, are, you know, are very unusual uh -huh. paintings to see inside the church. Yeah. Because they have some, you know, uh, history. Okay. You know, this is the speech of Emperor Haile Selassie at League of Nations. Oh, that's yeah, his yeah, speech, yeah. you know. Where oh, he that is a painting inside the church. Yes, oh, inside yes. the church, yes. Okay. <laughs> strange, no? Yes, strange. And 
here. And here, you know, this is uh, Emperor and Selassie, he raised the flag of Ethiopia, okay. you know, uh, after the departure of the Italians. Okay. So this is the Ethiopian typical uh, icons. Icons, okay. Painted by our own scholars. Okay. So this is Saint Gabriel, while he was, uh, while he make annunciations. Okay. In front of Virgin Mary. Mary. Really? Yes. You know, when he, when he gave her respect and greeting, mm -hmm. she conceived a boy, a boy Christ. Christ. That's yes. why we call annunciation. Yes, and we have one historical uh, icons, which is um, about the Ethiopian eunuch. You know. This, this Ethiopian eunuch, okay. uh, his name is, has already mentioned in the Holy Bible, okay. in Act, in the book of Act chapter 8. Act chapter 8. Yes, he was, I think it's being baptized okay. by Philip the Apostle, oh. as 34 AD. 34 AD. Yes, so okay. he the one spread out Christianity in Africa, Africa. 34 AD. Okay. Yes. So, this is church, okay. this is St. Michael which is a uh, typical Ethiopian icon. Okay. And that's uh, Saint Gabriel. Also the same uh, way of uh, uh, paintings, yeah. similarly with the previous one. Yes. yes. And this is what you see, this is the photo, the picture yeah. just taken during the inauguration of the church. Okay. Emperor is the one bow mm -hmm. in front of the church. Okay. During the time of the so uh, inside the cathedral, uh, we have uh, stained glass windows on the left side and on the other side. Yeah. On this part of the church, uh, depict us from the history of the Old Testament. Okay. So we have, uh, you know, uh, we have uh, some histories from the Old Testament, but we have uh, as well, you know, history from the Ethiopian Queen of Sheba and Solomon. You know, on the right side, Queen of Sheba was uh, welcomed by King Solomon. Okay. That was 3,000 years ago. Oh. So we believed, we Ethiopians believed that we ever had a queen from Ethiopia. Her name is Saba, we say Saba. Saba. In English, Sheba. And she was the wife of King Solomon. Okay. There's a long history. Finally, they had one son. His name is Menelik I, okay. the one who brought the true Ark of the Covenant here in Ethiopia as well as the founder of uh, Judaism. Before the coming of uh, Judaism, uh, I mean Christianity, there people were practicing Judaism. So that's why they put the Star of David on the city of the church. Oh, when the, yes, when, when they accept Christianity, yeah. they put the cross inside. Yeah, yeah. So what we are doing here in the church as a Judeo-Christianity religion. Judeo-Christianity, yes, yes, yes. yes. Abrahamic and Abrahamic and, and, yeah, Abrahamic and, 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 and this is Moses with Ten Commandments and uh, Abraham with the three angels. Yes. Angels and this is Noah with the Ark. And, and this is the rainbow. Yeah. Out of the church, we have uh, stained glass windows. You know. Illustrating about Christianity, the life of Jesus Christ. This is the Nativity of Christ. Over there, and this is uh, the baptism of Christ. And the third one is uh, Transfiguration okay. on the Mount Tabor. And, uh, and this is Redirection from the dead. Redirection, huh? Yes, we okay. believe he, he, risen. he has already risen from the dead. Okay. Yes. So this is Pentecost. The final one is Pentecost. This one? This one, yes, which means the coming of the holy fire in the form of fire okay. and uh, upon the head of the disciples. Okay. So lots of things learned today. So only one remaining thing is there, right? Yes, the tomb. But the tomb is safe. Yeah. Oh. Um, inside the Holy Trinity Cathedral, mm -hmm. uh, we have um, two tombs. Okay. One is to the emperor. To Emperor uh, Haile Selassie, on the on the right, on the on, on this side, on the left side, to the Empress, Empress, to the wife of uh, Emperor Haile Selassie. As I have said, he was killed by the communists in 1974, 
and his body was vanished in his own palace. But recently, body they brought back. the body back here yes. into the church. Okay. So the grave by itself has three features, you know. This is, it was copied from the stele of Aksum, the okay. design okay. taken from the stele of Aksum. There is a place called Aksum in, in the, the north. north. Yes. yes. And the middle part of the tomb, uh, you know, the design was taken from, from one of the rock hewn church, from La Libera. Okay. And this is a lion pose. Okay. Look at them, the, the lion pose, which is a symbol of the dynasty. Okay. You know, lions, you know, lions yeah. um, is a symbol of the Solomonic dynasty. So you can walk and make a video. Yeah. Emperor Isaac Lassie was known as Rastafari. Rastafari? Rastafari. Okay. There is a religion called Rastafarianism. Rasta yeah, I've heard that, yes. That's from, that's him. Oh, okay, okay. Rastafari is Haile Selassie. You know, we Ethiopians, especially a member of this church, yeah. we have two names. Okay. A baptismal name and a Christian name. Oh, is it? Yes, I mean, a given name and a baptismal name. Okay. So, Emperor Haile Selassie chose his baptismal name while he was, uh, uh, you know, crowned. When he became an emperor, he chose Haile Selassie, which means the power of the Trinity. Even Trinity means Selassie. Mm -hmm. He construct the church in Konishnabzai. Okay, okay. Yeah. This is uh, the ambulatory part of the church, mm -hmm. which is uh, belongs for our traditional chanters. Okay. You know, we have our own chanters, you know, descendants from, from uh, Saint Yared, the composer, mm -hmm. who lived in the 5th century. So when there is big events, the chanters gathering here together, and they are doing their own ritual movement using this drum. drum okay. So I will play a little bit for you. Okay, sure. So that's all for today. In the next video, I will be showing you some traditional Ethiopian food and as always thanks for watching.